going to have a lot of moving parts, a lot of emotional moments, not only from the players, but certainly hearing Gladys Knight in Atlanta mm -hmm. sing our national anthem will be moving to so many people. She's a four-time Grammy winner. When you think about Atlanta, you think about this part of the world, and you are of a certain age. You certainly grew up with Gladys Knight's music. And it only makes sense that she would be singing our national anthem on Sunday. But in this age, in this time, in this era, it is with controversy. Yeah, as soon as it was announced that she would be performing, there was a little controversy. She faced some criticism for agreeing to perform. Some critics said she should have declined because of the fallout between the NFL and former 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick, who took a knee in uh, protest of police brutality. In a sit-down interview with the Today Show's Craig Melvin, Knight says everyone's going to have an opinion, but at the end of the day, the only thing she says matters is love. Everybody got their opinions, mm -hmm. you know, about whatever it is, you know, but once we get into that love thing, it all just comes together and just goes wherever and we end up clapping and having a good time. She went on to say she couldn't believe the NFL was considering her to sing the anthem and that she's doing it for her loved ones who risked their lives for our country. And when she sings, you feel something. It will be quite a moment. Everybody has a favorite Gladys Knight song, whether it's Midnight Train to Georgia or I've Got to Use My Imagination. Or neither one of us wants to be the first to say goodbye. You can go on and on and on.